Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. It's a podcast bonus. Now in the studio. Nathan Ross. Our latest signing, I believe. Is this correct? Are you happy to announce that's funny? Yes. Oh, well, it's a good morning, Nathan. Good morning. Good to see you again. I thought, I'd, uh, thought we'd wait I'm until... I'm starting to have doubts after the weekend's performance. <laughs> well, yeah, well, after right. this signing, I hope this goes well, because footy might not be around <laughs> much longer. <laughs> can, I, can I just clarify, of course, um, you played on Thursday night. Yep. And was your... was it, was it, it Would it be fair to say that your first action for 2022 <laughs> involved very early in the game Tom DeConing uh, standing on your head and almost knocking you out. Is that, is that what, and taking a screamer? Is that what happened? Yeah, very first contest, just a flush knee to the back of the head. <laughs> what a way to start the year! Oh. Oh. It's not oh. ideal. No, nah, no, nah. mark of the year contender straight up. <laughs> <laughs> it must have felt, it must have felt great too. The crowds were back, so eighty thousand people got to witness that firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all Carlton fans too. So it was lovely. They were, they were really nice about it. Go on, Brownie. Come on. I know you're just dying to ask Nathan some footy questions. What do you got? Um, you're currently 14th on the ladder. Is it season over, Brody? <laughs> no, we're rebuilding at the moment, so... <laughs> are you going to start playing the kids? So was gonna yeah, happen. we're rebuilding. The kids are coming through. No, nah, we'll be all right. We'll be good. What How was, was it, Brody, getting out there, though? Because obviously for two years that we've been decimated with live sport, and especially in this city, to be out there in front, even though they're mainly Carlton supporters, 75,000 must have been exciting. Yeah, it was amazing. It was. Um, it felt like ninety out there. They were up and about. That's for sure. And um, it's just good to have the crowd back and walking across the G pre-game. Um, it's just amazing to see everyone out and about. It's good. How do you go with that? Because uh, to run us through the pre-game preps when you're playing at the MCG. Your home ground is Punt Road, which is a few hundred metres down the road. Yeah, we can. Um, you can either park at the G or you can walk across. But most of us decide to walk across and, um, yeah, get, get involved in a bit of the atmosphere early and get a bit heckled from the crowd, and that's good. Wow. Jeez, you would have copped it, wouldn't you, on the walk through with all the Carlton supporters? Yeah, they weren't too bad on the way through there, but on the way back after they got the win, they <laughs> let us know about it. <laughs> just, yeah. to cl- just to clarify, Swanee Brown, you're asking mm. Nathan where he parks yeah. before a game. Is that what you're doing there? Is no, that your hard no. question? I, I, I just see it. It's, it's, just, <laughs> it's just funny in this modern day that actually the players are still walking through the crowd, mm. especially after a loss. Do you get your? Do you get your? Um, do you, have you got a pass, or do you get your car parking? Car <laughs> validated? Yeah, get it validated. Swanee, well, did you watch the game? Um, I didn't watch the game. No, because um, I, it's a very boring story. Um, what are your? Do you have any superstitions before you play? Not these days. No, I used to be right boot before left boot and all this stuff and food. But I'm pretty laid back these days. Maybe you yeah. should go back to some superstitions. Yeah, I think we should, as a whole. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to. Um, I seem to every now and then I'd look up and Richmond seemed to be four goals ahead, right? Yeah. This is, this is I've got serious questions in me. Yeah. So what happened? What happened to your system? What happened to your game plan? What happened to to allow a team? You're making him nervous now. Boy, what happened to a team that did make the eight last year? Allowed to just Carlton run well, over. Are you prepping him for the meeting today with Dimmer? Run. <laughs> well, we have a rule at Richmond: if you give away a fifty meter penalty, it's a meat tray. <laughs> um, so I think. <laughs> Wait, a meat tray to the entire team to share. Yeah, so that person who gives away the fifty meter penalty, they have to bring a meat tray in on Thursday, and then. Go. How do you know about quantities for a meat <laughs> well, it's tray? It's got to be fifty dollars. Yeah, fifty dollar okay, meat, right. meat, okay. okay. meat tray. Yeah, so it's a gold coin donation to enter in. Um, it's safe to say that it'll be it'll be hard not to win one this week because I think we had ten fifty meter penalties um, and seven so. resulted in goals. Is, so there dis- is there a discipline problem? And there club? could be a bit of a discipline issue. Bonnie, what's the key to a good meat tray? Um, oh, look, I think it's in the good sausage. A good sausage. No, I agree with you. Proper Swanee. sausage. Yeah. Well, a few blokes are bringing in whole chickens in theirs, and that's a bit. Ooh. No. Yeah, I'm a bit. No. There's no. Nah. They shouldn't be Gee. on a meat tray. No, I don't, agree. Don't forget the parsley garnish as well. By the way. <laughs> parsley garnish. <laughs> it's a nice. It's a nice little touch. That might have been the reason why you're struggling in the second half because you're eating meat trays on the Thursday before <laughs> the game. I think Jack hey, Graham's um, got three, so he might be bringing in a whole sheep. I reckon. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, he'd be in a fair bit of strife. Does Dimmer still fire up? after that situation, like post-game, does he give you boys a rip for giving away all those 50 metre penalties or, or does he wait till the Monday where you do the review meeting? Yeah, he's pretty calm. He's very calm, actually. I was a bit nervous going in, but he was very calm and just, yeah, told us the discipline and a few other things at stoppage. But, yeah, we'll review it today and he might get a bit fired up today. We'll see how we go. Uh, real quick, Nick Rewalt's, uh sorry, Jack Rewalt's thumb. Is he yeah. cooked for a while? How long does a thumb take to heal? 
No, I think you could play this he week. Ran out of I'm not 100. <laughs> 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 percent Dino ran That's out of breath. Professional broadcaster, they're running out of breath at the end of the question. <laughs> still squeezed it out. I think you'll notice. So no, <laughs> no, I think you'll be all right. Grimes had similar thing, um, <laughs> and best. he played after a week, so hopefully he can play. Right yeah, on. but I haven't what spoke about, to him. What so a, what about Prestia? Prestia, I think, was yeah a light hamstring, but yeah, I haven't spoke to him either. But fingers crossed. Is, it, um, is that what is that what Nathan's doing every two weeks? Coming in and tell you where he parked and give an injury report. <laughs> yes. in, in injury oh, report. I like that. It's good. Can you can you talk about Carlton? Yeah, well, they were very good. Yes. They were. We spoke about this last time before I went on air. You said that they that were you, well. you thought that they might be good. Yeah, I felt they were going to be pretty I'm, good. Yeah. I'm interested in that the t- two players got injured and you haven't spoken to them yet. Yeah, I nah. would have just thought like if nah. if Sam was sick, I would have called him by now. Why, why don't are you guys not close? <laughs> no, I don't like him. Not, not really like him too much. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, nah. you just call you Jack Revolt and say, "Hey, how's in? your thumb?" Or maybe I'm just not giving too much away. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? You're saying Nick Revolt's out for the year. Uh, Nick Rewald retired was. a few years oh, yeah. ago, but <laughs> he on. could be out. Sorry. <laughs> now, Brody, you Easy thought mistake to make. this was hard to navigate. Next, coming up next, it's Brody's football question of the week. Mate. And you have felt no scorn like this. This is the Chrissy Salmon Brownie Podcast. Ethan Broad's in the studio. That's right, from the Richmond Football Club. He's, if you missed the first segment, he's already said that... Uh, Richmond season is done and they're looking to the draft for next year. So <laughs> that's good to know. And, and he gets, he parks near the MCG. Do you get free parking at the G or do you get, do you get some sort of permit, Brody, or are you going to pay the freight? Yeah, no, we get free parking, which is nice. Whoa. Yeah. That's a few questions. Do you I, identify? I think you should, you should have to pay on the way out if you lose. There should yes. be some incentive yes. there. Yes. Do you identify as a bogan? Um... Yeah, I reckon if you're from Perth, I reckon you're half bit bogan already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Automatically. No, no. it's a special sort of breed. Why do you ask yeah. that? Because I just want to get to know him a bit more. Great, How much... and because I was on the Bundys last week, so that's already halfway there. Yeah, I just had an inkling. Um, and how much sleep do you get a night? Oh, I get a lot of sleep, yeah. Tell not, me more about that. Nine, nine hours, a good hour of sleep, I reckon. And what time do you go to go to bed? Oh, daylight saving stuffs me a bit. So me too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like ten no, o'clock, nine thirty. Ten, and no. so you're up at what seven? Seven, yeah. Yeah, and what do you have for breakfast? <laughs> game Maybe day. an omelette. What do you game an omelette? Day. Yeah. Okay, and um, <laughs> meat tray. Do you sleep yeah. naked, one friend? Of, one of the meat trays that get delivered. <laughs> hey. Do you sleep naked? No, no, I can't stand it. No. What What sort of stuff is on your Spotify list? Oh, um, look, classics. Yeah, John John Denver. Um, yes. Oh, REM. Country yeah, Road. Crowded House. Yeah, great. Yeah, okay, so what year were you born? 93. And you, your parents are youngish, are they? Uh, were they youngish when they had you? No, 30, I think. So, yeah, about... It's youngish, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Mm. All right, cool. That was good. <laughs> I've, got a good I've got a good little picture. you have any questions about Dusty in there. <laughs> no. How many hours... Actually, we should... Every every week that Nathan's on, we should ask him at least one question. Do you th- how, how, how much sleep does Dusty get, do you think? <laughs> oh. Like, if you get nine hours and you're going to bed at 9.30 like a child, yeah. I, don't know why you, I don't know why you don't stay up late. Why don't you stay up later? You know, like, you're a grown man. You can do whatever do. you want. I just get bored. There's nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah, Taylor, That's why I'm in bed, bed, like, I'm in bed by 8 yeah. p.m. Yeah, 8 like p.m. That. Like a baby. Okay. How did you handle the umpire abuse? Because uh, the, the, it was officially the first round with the the big change, Brownie and I were always curious, Brownie especially because he used to was a terrorised umpires, but has, has it been a change, has it been spoken about it at, at, you know, club level? Yeah, it, it was, I think we, most of ours on the weekend were for off the man on the mark, so not umpire abuse, but we had a couple I think, and I think it is good because it, um, like we said before, at lower level, it can stamp it out at junior footy, but um, yeah, it's costing us at the moment. <laughs> hey. It was remarkable how quickly the players adjusted after you guys um, gave away all those 50s. Over the weekend, the umpire abuse was a positive for me, Swanee, on the weekend because I see it at junior level. Mm. Uh, it's not a nice thing, especially when they're trying to get younger umpires through the system. So yeah. I thought it was really well done by the players to adjust. And you, know, you tell they were frustrated and they wanted to maybe say something to the umpires, but they just cut it there. So good. I think it's a good uh, thing going forward. Uh, I've just got an article from the paper, Nathan. I hope you don't mind reading out. <laughs> Autumn colours shone bright. At Flemington on Saturday, a celebrity couples made their mark on the track. Mm. High-profile high profile names include Andy Lee and Rebecca Harding. 
da 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 Nathan Broad and Taylor Demir. Demir? Who is your Look uh, at you uh, guy. Your current, fiance. current fiance. Yep. Is Currently he, she's your fiance, yes. Is his billing before or after Jack Charles? Jack Charles. I actually there, saw Jack, he? yeah, he was waving down on me up from the top of the members. Did he get oh, a he's higher than you? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I was just, yeah, oh. just, just waving through his glass window. Humans room. Can I just, I, you know, I'm just a, an outsider, but do you think that, um, do you think after a loss that instead of going to the races, you should be training? <laughs> <laughs> a few people have um, <laughs> quietly just reminded me through social media that maybe concentrate on footy and not the races. All right, mate, we've got, we've, we'll, we'll, we'll have to, we've got one more thing to let you go. We know you've got to get home and go to bed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, just a full disclosure, this might not reflect our show, this person's opinion. Brody's serious analytical footy question of the week. Nathan, are you a cross Brody? Are you familiar with his work? No, no. Oh, well, Brody wants to work for him. SEN. For a second there, I thought you used to call me Brody, not Brody. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, this is Brody. Brody's is nice not, Brody. In the, not in the job that he wants. He would really love to be on air at SEN. <laughs> and, and this is how I make morning. Good day, Nathan. Hey, mate. Nice yeah. to meet you, mate. How are you going? Good, good. What? Thank you. What was that? Hey, mate. <laughs> you should love a little bit of a clunky start. That was yeah. quick. What do you want to start again? Go again. Good day, Nathan. Nice to meet you. How are you going? Yeah, good, mate. Nice to meet you. So I'm a big footy fan, and this is where I confront players about their poor performances oh. on the weekend, traditionally. <laughs> Obviously, Richmond were humiliated on Thursday night by Carlton, and you yourself, you had three very ooh, controversial clangers. In future, if you could kick it to other Richmond players and not Carlton players, the team would be better served. Is there a question there? What's no, the question? Just a statement. Just a statement. That's a fair statement, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a fair statement. Oh, Brody, do yeah, you want to wow, respond to that? Uh, response. Well, yeah, you don't have yeah. to. No, we'll, we'll train it today and work on it. We're rebuilding, remember, so. <laughs> <There you laughs> that's go. right. Rebuild. Remember the rebuild, the great rebuild. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we've scared him off for the year. Uh, I mean, so. you know, Brody's question of the week, he didn't even have a question mark at the end of all those words. Yeah, just kick it better. That's yeah. all. all right. I like it. Set the tone early. <laughs> Roddy, we love you. So, uh, good luck on the weekend. Thank you. For Chrissy, Sam and Brown, every show will be back tomorrow. Chrissy, Sam and Brown, oh, unless it's a weekend. Nearly the 100.